hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, we are back with another tutorial on Arduino okay so this tutorial is going to be really helpful because what we are going to do in this tutorial is how to blink an LED without using delay okay so usually uh, blinking an LED is a simple project where you can write a code just using a delay you can uh, define how, how much time difference you want to turn on the LED and switch off right so what we are going to see is how we can uh, use millis which is a different function in Arduino uh, programming and we will see how we can make use of that to blink an LED so benefit of this is like when you use delay you are going to stop the your Arduino board activities but you can use uh, millis means parallel you can run uh, multiple programs okay so let's see how we can do that so first of all to start we need to create the circuit okay so i'm going to uh, pull the arduino board so this is going to be very simple circuit okay we just need uh, an uh, led and an resistor okay in the resistor i'm going to use uh, 220 ohms okay and i'm going to connect this uh, to the pin number 12 okay in the ground i'm going to connect to the ground okay Okay, so we are done with the connection. Okay, so let's go to the coding part. Okay, so for those who has not used Tinkercad, it's a very good uh, tool where you can simulate Arduino programming. So okay, so you can just uh, create an account with uh, Tinkercad. Okay, you can check my previous tutorial about all topics, uh, uh, no project which we have done with uh, Tinkercad. Okay. So I'm just going to write the code. So it's going to be pin 12, which would be output. Okay. And uh, you see it's 12, you need to high and low. So this is the basic uh, using delay. Okay. So here we are using delay. So if I just start, let's see what we're getting. So you can see the LED is blinking, right? So this is how the normal. Uh, programming with delay okay now we need to see how we can do it without delay okay so what as i said what we are going to do is we are going to use uh, millis so uh, how to use that we will see okay so i'm going to start with some variables so i'm going to call this as led state okay and uh, i'm going to put it to low i'm going to also create another variable which is an uh, unsigned long okay long label and i'm going to call this as previous uh, millis okay and i'm going to set this to zero okay and in the white setup it's going to be same pin mode it's uh, uh 12 as output i'm also going to use a serial monitor i just want to show you like what is the output of uh, uh, millis so i'm just going to use a serial monitor here inside wide loop I'm going to create one more variable which is called the unsigned long variable okay and I'm going to call this uh, current millis okay and this is uh, going to get the values values from millis the function millis okay so what we have done is there is a variable previous millis which is set to zero and the current millis is uh, getting a value from millis right so let's just to print out this value okay so serial dot delay current millis okay so let's just see what is the output of this okay let me run the simulation okay now if you see the value for millis is keep changing right so it's almost like this uh, what we see here which is the current second right how long this is been running 
so this is actually capturing the current time okay now the next step is i want to define what is the interval right so for the led to be blinking so how we can do this is i'm going to have a if loop okay so in the if loop what i'm going to call is uh, current millis minus the previous uh, millis okay these are both uh, you know the variables which we have used so currently if you consider it to be zero and this value will come like a uh, whatever it's there okay so and i'm going to make it like greater than or equal to and the interval so i want to play this every two second okay so i will uh, make it as 2000 okay then the next action is so what does this means like uh, if the current mill is minus previous mill is greater than 2000 i want to store the previous mill is as the value from current mill is okay so uh, for example now if you start it will start from zero and when it comes to 2000 the previous mill is value will change from zero to 2000 right so that's what uh, we are trying to do okay so it's going to be previous mill is equal to current mill is okay okay now let's print this uh, previous mill is uh, inside this so we can see what the output will be okay so it should be previous mill is okay let's start the simulation and see what we get the output yeah this is the type error because it's a uh, capital m okay so we have used a uh, small m there so let's start the simulation again okay now let's see what we get the output okay now we are getting the current millis value If you see like uh, after 2000 it has uh, refreshed again so let's see now what we can do okay i'll remove this okay so now we define the every two seconds we need to turn off and turn on the uh, led right so let's see what we can do next i'm going to put another if loop inside this okay so this what we are going to do is we are going to check the led state which i have created so we are starting with low okay so what it says if it's low change it to high else it keep it low okay and uh, what is the uh, why we are doing it because we just want to rotate uh, the signal right from high to low and low to high so i'm going to use a digital right here okay digital right and the pin number is 12 and that should be led state let me run the code now now if you see we are getting the serial print right so let's wait so now you see like at uh, 2000 it has the led has started uh, blue, uh, red right so it has turned on now if you see at 4000 it will switch off you see it's uh, turned off at the 4000 now if you change it to let's see at 6000 it will turn on again see right i can change uh, the code to make it a little bit faster okay so if i change it to 500 okay let's start the simulation you can see at 500 it turned on right and again thousand it switched off right so it's it will switch on switch off so now it, you see the led is blinking but uh, you know we are using a different method right so that is all i wanted to show you because uh, what we are doing is now currently using a different method which is called uh, millis and uh, you know function which you are using which will calculate the current time and it is getting saved to a variable called current millis and we are you uh, know checking with uh, another variable called previous millis which start with zero and once i uh, subtract from it will be like you know 500 minus uh, zero or 
you know it will be 500 and once it become more than 500 it will save to 500 here so the current millis will be like uh, 600 700 and when it comes to 1000 again uh, it will 1000 will be saved to previous millis so it will keep on going with that loop so we are just uh, putting another loop mentioning if it's low change it to high and high if it's you keep it change it to low okay so that is all what we are doing so it's a pretty simple but just uh, you know important and useful program okay so don't worry i will share all these uh, codes and everything in my uh, video description so you can copy from there and also i will be sharing my github location so you can use that from there as well okay so i hope this tutorial is informative for you so i would request you to subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment 